A show next week on the Discovery Channel is expected to unveil some new artifacts found on the property of John Dillinger's childhood home here in central Indiana. Yeah, pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. This development just a few years after another investigative team stumbled across a map that continues to draw more questions. Our Mike Sullivan has the story. There's so much to uncover when it comes to John Dillinger. The bank robber, the gangster, the legend. His, his father is my grandfather. Mike Thompson simply calls him uncle. He was known way more than I thought he was. Especially in recent years, thanks to discoveries. We found a map in 18. At Dillinger's childhood home in Mooresville. You know, listening to my mom, my aunt, and my other uncle, Hubert, I always believed he, he was... He got killed in Chicago. Two years ago, a group of investigators stumbled upon a map on the surrounding property. It is now owned by Shane Williams, who grew up in the house itself. And even as a kid, you know, I would dig around a little bit here and there. This is how it was in the jar, folded up just like that. A Shell gas station map from 1934. So here's a picture of the Shell map folded up. It was buried underneath a big root discovered by radar. You can see where it says 1934. On it, lines and locations, as well as dates, some marked after his death. He was last seen at the home April 1934. Did that map mean something before he got killed? Did it mean something after he was supposed to get killed? They could be train routes, you know, potential train robberies. They are still authenticating the validity of it, including pairing it with Dillinger's address book. There's a lot of places that's on that map that's in that address book. News got around eventually reaching the ears of Discovery Channel's Expedition Unknown. They contacted me after they saw, heard about the map. Wanting to search the property a bit more at first. My son dug a pipe up. That's when their penetrating radar went off. Actually, the big fine, the metal detector didn't go off on. Due to non-disclosure agreements with the channel. Yeah, we have to be very careful what we say. Including particulars about what was found. And it kind of piques your interest, you know, is there something else or, you know, is this it? The mystery continues for now. In Mooresville, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Mike, thank you. That show, by the way, it's expected to air this Wednesday.